the Maglite 6D. This flashlight has six D cell batteries that it takes. This is one of my favorite flashlights I've ever owned. I've had this for a couple years and used it quite regularly. And then I went to go use it the other day after I hadn't needed it for a couple weeks and it wouldn't turn on. So I thought, oh, it's probably just dead batteries. So I went to take the batteries out and they wouldn't come out. I found out that one of the D cells had exploded and leaked all over inside of it. So I opened it up, cleaned it out. There's some corrosion on the inside about oh, eight inches down and I scraped that out and it still wouldn't and then I realized that the switch, the inside of the switch was had corrosion but I don't own anything that could scrape that off. So I took it apart and was trying to get this to where I could get this switch out and I couldn't find a wrench that would fit. And it's a T8, I found out. But every T8 I own has, it, it, it gets too fat. This will not fit in there. If you see that, it stops where it flares. So I went looking and I tried every T8 I owned I even went to my local store and I found this one I thought, oh, that's got to work. But I went to go put it in. Sure enough, it flares just enough it stopped. So I had to search on the internet. I had to contact Maglite. They told me that they don't sell the wrench that I need, basically. They're very cryptic about the whole problem. I don't know why they don't use choose an Allen wrench because the old ones were just Allen wrenches. So, anyway, I but then they did say I could order a new switch and the new switch would come with the wrench I need. So, here's the wrench. And the wrench, this T8, does not taper. It's the only one I've ever been able to find. Maybe some other people know where to find one, but the only one I can find comes right from Maglite. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the only way to get it that I know of is to order this whole new switch. Luckily the switch wasn't super expensive. So it comes with a whole new switch. And also, the funny thing is they include the Allen wrench you need to in case you have to replace this with a new one. So to get the old one out, here's the old Allen wrench. Here's the new. So I went to go, I was going to put this in and I thought, you know what? I have been fancying some Maglite upgrades. Let's look into some upgrades for this Maglite. Well, the first thing I saw was a glass breaking end cap. And you can see that carbide tip right there to go on the back. So we got that and then I found these awesome crown bezels that you can put it on a flat surface and the light will come out plus it can be pretty persuasive if all you have on you is a flashlight and someone intends on harming you that can actually come in handy but then that doesn't give me more candle power because this is candle power this is an incandescent bulb Terra Lux makes these 800 lumen upgrades to put in there so, but then they say, if you're going to do that, you have to replace the plastic with glass because it gets too hot. So I just wanted to show real quick, primarily this fix because I couldn't, I had a hard time figuring out what to do. So hopefully people can figure this out now. But it fits in there, it's going to loosen. So first... Let's take the reflector side off. There's so many threads. These threads. 
but these mag lights are so high quality. We'll remove the incandescent bulb. Now, if I loosen that, you see now the switch is coming loose. Still needs more. I haven't taken one of these apart for a while. How much do we need to turn? I wonder if corrosion is holding it. Let me get this side off. Oh, is this not going to come out now? Hold on. Okay, so we got this old switch out. There is just enough corrosion on there to prevent contact for the battery. But we got a new one, so we'll put that one to the side. You can't see the corrosion from here. But first thing, let's just put this back in. Okay. It came all the way through. You can line up this switch and get your special fancy T8 wrench that they changed to and tighten this down. New. Tight. Okay. So then the other part with so that fixes the problem, the original problem, but now the upgrade. We're not going to need that, or that, or that. All I need is this reflector housing. So, thread this housing on all the way down, because one thing with this LED is it's not focusable but it puts out so much light that it doesn't matter this has a light bulb end on it and it's threaded so it replaces this little metal shroud we'll prevent that from falling off Let's get this LED bulb attached okay now this crown bezel there's some o-rings here this o-ring seals it then the glass upgrade and then there's a little rubber so it doesn't rattle we'll tighten that down Look at that. That's pretty cool. Replace this switch cover. These flashlights, I, I have a C cell flashlight that holds four C's that my oldest brother gave me for Christmas when I was like 13. And I still have it and it still works. So these mag lights, they are phenomenal gifts for people. Phenomenal flashlights to own. We don't need that bulb, but there's no sense in throwing it away. So I'll just keep it in there. I reuse this spring. Now, hopefully these batteries are not dead. These batteries are not corroded. Okay, six batteries. I love that sound. Okay, it works. Now, there's three high, medium, low. Let me flip these lights off real quick. 
high or that's low. So that's I if the flashlight would have worked before, you would have seen the big difference. That's actually a lot of bright, a lot of light. Okay. So now we have the tactical glass breaker. This thing is almost a weapon. You carry this around with you at night if you're camping or anywhere. No one's going to mess with you. This thing, you don't want to take this backpacking as much as it weighs. Well, thank you for hanging out. Scarlet, do you like the flashlight? How bright is it? Really bright? Does that hurt your eyes? So you can see high, medium, low. She doesn't really care. Much better. I love it. Okay. Keep watching.